In today's video, we will look at a modified version of Stochastic Gradient Descent, which introduced the concept of momentum. As a reminder, Stochastic Gradient Descent is an optimization algorithm that works iteratively. It is well suited for neural network optimization. The algorithm works well, however, it does tend to get stuck in local minima. Momentum helps with that aspect. The term momentum is borrowed from physics, where you can think of the parameter value as being a ball traveling through space. When you introduce momentum, it is similar to um, a cheese roll race. Even if there's a lot of bump in the hill, the ball will keep rolling roughly in the same direction. This prevents unnecessary oscillation. This will help a lot in the neural network training. So here momentum, what we're doing, um, we have this uh, new formula over here. We first calculate the gradient like this, right? We save it for the next round and then we um, we update the weight like this. So before we didn't have uh, this first part, we had only this last part over here in stochastic gradient descent. So what are well, what are all of those things? Here, this is the, the cost function and we're calculating the gradient on this cost function. So this is like a partial derivative. And over here, I don't know if it's really n, this is um, the learning rate, right? So this is what we set. And over here, this is a new part. We have the old gradient, right? So the old uh, delta W for this particular W. And uh, we multiply that by a decay factor like this, um, which is the exponential decay factor. So this is the only part that is, um, that is new, and then we save um, delta W. So here, this number actually um, is usually set to 0 0.9 approximately. It, it, go, it goes from 0 to 1, 0 being um, there's no, absolutely no momentum here, so uh, we, don't really, we don't really care about the past, 1 being we care uh, uh, very much about the past. So 0 0.9 is actually, uh, is usually a good number. Alright, so now let's look back to um, an example um, with the Jupyter Notebook. If you prefer to look at the code yourself, uh, the link is in the description. Um, so the code go like this here. First thing we do is we initiate the gradient for the previous iteration to be zero uh, because there was no previous iteration. And then we're gonna repeat this thing until we either convert or we run out of time step. So what you do is you calculate the current gradient as this thing, the exponential decay factor times the previous gradient. So this is 0 0.9 approximately minus the learning rate times the derivative of the cost. And you update the weight by adding this thing um, to the to the weight, and then you set the previous weight. So, sorry, set the previous gradient to be the current uh, gradient, and then you reiterate. And remember, you, we, we're still doing stochastic gradients, and so we're still um, taking only one time step at a time. At, we're still taking only one data point at a time, um, but this is the part that changed. So if we look at an implementation, here this is the function um, we we're gonna look at we're just going to look at the linear function so we have um, here the bias and here we have the slope times x um, and that will return our estimate here this is derivative of w1 so it gives us this right this is the derivative of w2 so this is the slope give us this right so um, if you looked at my previous video about stochastic gradient ascent it's basically the same thing except that we have the decay factor over here um, so I'm gonna go through this thing. So we have x, you have the, your y, you have the learning rate over here, decay factor now and the maximum number of iteration. And then what do we do here is we initialize w1 and w2 to be completely random. And uh, we, we have those, um, those value over here which will uh, hold the previous gradient for w1 and the previous gradient for w2. So each weight has a gradient. If you were uh, looking at the neural network, each neuron will have um, his own little gradient that will, he will save in his state. Here this is like the pseudocode, we're gonna iterate until we hit the number, maximum number of iteration. So this part over here is just selecting one random data point. So we permute, right, randomly, and then we select the first one, it will be different every time. Here we calculate our gradient by uh, doing exactly like uh, the previous uh, formula showed, so decay factors times the previous gradient w1, minus learning rate times the partial derivative. Here, 
at first it's going to be zero so this part won't matter right and then you just update over here and then you save the gradient over there and then you do it that's it it's super simple it's a super simple algorithm um and if we test it here remember uh, we have a decay factor to be 0 0.9 here we have we want to learn uh, a line which has an intercept of zero and a slope of one so let's see does it do i uh, will say at um iteration 400 it's it's pretty much learned thing and then you just go down and down down um if we let's set this to um one if we set that to one uh whoops it's gonna have much harder time um it's gonna oscillate a lot so we overshoot right overshoot a lot but at, at some point it's gonna go uh, back um, down but even then it's not it's not optimal um, so you have to be careful with that uh, decay factor um, if we if we choose something like 0 0.1 here um, that will actually be not that bad yeah not that bad but a bit slower right to converge uh, so you can play around with this but usually uh, 0 0.9 is, is pretty is pretty standard to get a good result if we try with let's say another line intercept of one and slope of two we should get um, something around the same vein of 400 so um, it's a pretty good uh, pretty good behavior if, if we have the intercept of zero and the slope of two should get it also that's it we're, we're doing great it's a simple change which brings a lot of um, power to um, uh, the neural network learning by um, preventing it uh, from uh, being stuck in the local minima too much so it's definitely a good um, modification on stochastic gradient descent so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments or question or feedback leave them in the comment section and uh, have a good week Thank you.